Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a look at the California colours uh, and in particular we're looking at these now on the T6.1 variation so uh, obviously on the, the ocean, the coast and the beach. Uh, we're going to talk you through those. Uh, Tim very kindly reminded me that we haven't done a video on the colours, we've done it on the grand. Today uh, I'm just going to run through the list uh, of other colours. So we'll look at the solid colours first and then we'll look at the cost option colours uh, thereafter and get some photos and bits and pieces for you to have a look at. Uh, and then I'd love to know what your colours, favourite colours would be out of those. What would you think uh, are the colours that you would order if you were going to get uh, get a California 6.1? Uh, always intrigued to know because as you know I order our stock vehicles based on what our customers buy and it's always nice to see if we're, if we're missing something there's something that we don't order that people would uh, would prefer. Uh, and then the old old question of you know what's most popular what isn't most popular etc will come up and I'll talk a little bit about that as well. I would say as far as colour is concerned, I've said it once, I've said it lots and lots of times before as well, but pick a colour which you're happy with, because remember this is a vehicle you're going to look at every time you walk to your vehicle, you're going to see it. Every time you walk away, you come home, uh, you see it from in the vehicle, so don't worry about what I think is a good colour, you need to pick a colour which you're happy with, that you're going to live with and it's going to put a smile on your face every time you see your vehicle. So uh, yes, it's probably a little bit important that you look at colours if you want to know well, what's the most popular ones etc that's on there as well that is a bit bit but for my mind get the colour which makes you happy that you like uh, and you know that suit that suits you as well which is all I think that's far more important than wondering about um, you know what uh, if it's going to you know be worth you know 200 pound more for example you know at the end of five years because of the colour that it's in so anyway so let's have a look at the colours then so uh, you're going to start off with Ascot Grey uh, so that's one of the two solid colours which uh, are no cost option uh, that's there uh, Ascot Grey is a relatively new colour uh, very very popular very popular colour you either really like it or you don't like it um, I have to say it looks so much better in the flesh than it does when you actually uh, when you see it for example on a, on a web page or you look at it in the brochure uh, uh, it's that off-white colour, but really, really smart. I think it looks lovely. There is a two-tone version, which we'll get onto in a minute as well. Uh, so they've got the Ascot Grey. Uh, and following on from that, we've got Cherry Red. Now, people who've been watching this channel for a while will know Red's one of my favourite colours, probably my favourite colour. Uh, they always uh, always gets commented in downstairs. We're not having another red van. Um, we've got a red coast coming for the showroom shortly. I'm sure they'll all be making fun out of me for that when that arrives. But I like red, love red. Um, it's quite bright. You know my emerald I've got at the moment is bright red um, that's there as well. So cherry, cherry red is a colour. I think it's lovely. I think it's really nice. Uh, I think it does suit the vehicle very well. Uh, obviously it is quite bright, so it's not for everybody's, uh, everybody's taste that's there as well. Uh, but uh, really nice colour as well uh, that's there. So those are the two which are no cost options, so it doesn't cost any more money to have those two. Um, and then a bit of a strange one is Candy White. Uh, now, for, for years and years and years, Candy White was a, a no cost option. No, it wasn't a cost at all. Uh, it's now £300. Uh, and they've, they've added that cost into there. Uh, very, very popular uh, Candy White. Uh, and on motorhomes and camper vans, things like that, uh, white's kind of been the go to colour for a long, long time. Uh, and that might be one of the reasons why it's now actually a, a cost to have that particular uh, colour on the vehicle as well. Uh, so we do do uh, quite a few um, of that particular, you know, of white in, in general. Um, of people that are ordering them from, from as a factory order, we don't do that many. Um, but uh, but I know I like it. Um, I think I've said on the Grand California, for example, uh, it's, it's very stunning. I do like the uh, the white. I think it suits it uh, very well. Then it's nice and bright as well. So in the summer wise and things like that, really good colour. Uh, so moving on to the metallics, uh, I'm going to put the two of these together now. Uh, so I'm going to group the, the bay leaf green and the copper bronze because they're both new colours to 6.1 uh, and they're also both available in a two-tone uh, which I mentioned before with the Ascot Grey. So your three choice of two tones are the bay leaf green, uh, the copper bronze or the Ascot with a combination of white uh, on the top of the vehicle that's there as well. Uh, so for those particular ones I said that the Ascot um, and the two-tone really really popular, very popular uh, colour that's there as well uh, and then they've got the bay leaf green and the copper bronze 
um, as whole vehicle ones as well so show you some pictures now of them in full and obviously they are also available in the two-tone um, now because they're available in the two-tone we probably do more of them in the two-tone than we do in their individual colors uh, and I don't know why that is it's just that's that's what people uh, order in you've probably seen we had our demonstrator in the two-tone the one in the show we've got now is the copper bronze and, and, and white uh, and I've had the Bailey green and white as well which I think is lovely uh, really do uh, strike that as well I think they're particularly good um, but the colors on their own uh, are very nice colors as well there's nothing to uh, say that but we do do more of them as, as a two-tone than we do with their actual individual colors uh, so moving on we've got Fontana red so that's the metallic version of the, of the red which is a deep rich burgundy red uh, a really nice uh, again looks stunning in the California um, I like it with nice uh, with the uh, like two-tone alloy wheels. I think looks uh, looks even more stunning. I think with that as well. So that's a good colour to have. Um, Indian grey. So Indian grey is the number one best-selling colour. I'm not going to get away from that. That's the one we sell more of than anything else. Uh, it's the one that if uh, if it, if we order for stock, you know, if I order one of every every other colour, I'll order five Indian greys um, because the it's just it is that popular and I can see why it's that popular because it's not that bright um, it looks like a lot of other cars on the road um, so it kind of blends in as well as well and it's just an it's just a really nice color and it suits the uh, the combination that goes out so number one color definitely Indian grey so if somebody's asking that's what we sell more of than anything else um, next up is Mojave Beige now unfortunately this colour has a word which doesn't sound particularly appealing in it uh, it has that beige word in it um, if they change the name we do a lot more of this colour I like Mojave Beige I think it's a lovely colour one of our customers has had one for many many years uh, always telling me likes to tell me that when he takes it somewhere if he's camping uh, and he's in the woods and things like that it tends to blend into the background and I can kind of understand why uh, if you ever see one that's in this colour and it's in a, a setting as well uh, it does blend away uh, quite nicely as well again this is one of these colours you really need to see it in the light see it outside uh, it doesn't doesn't really do it justice actually on paper as well uh, but you know I, I like that I think it's a really good uh, strong color uh, now reflex silver um, I like reflex silver We've been around for a very long time currently as I speak at the moment we don't do a lot of reflex silver uh, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on reflex silver uh, in the past we've done lots and lots of reflex silver uh, but more recently in the last 12 months or so I think we've done two or three something like that uh, on that side that makes them more unique because less people have got them now on the, on the on the newer versions of them but it also probably means that less people uh, like that particular color and with all colors they go up and down over variation in times and you will see batches of vehicles at certain ages of all of the same kind of colors as well and it's as things come in and out of fashion um, and again this might be something that's with the the, the silver at the moment uh, I think silver's great I think it's 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 a vehicle that looks clean all the time because it, it doesn't <laughs> tend to show the dirt as much as well so it's got lots of added uh, benefits with it as well I like it with a combination of the dark interior now and you've got a slightly lighter uh, outside of it as well so I'd uh, love to know what your thoughts are on that as well let us know please and then uh, last of the the metallic such is the uh, starlight blue uh, so starlight blue is a very dark uh, blue um, not quite black but but getting on that kind of way um, again fairly popular color uh, but it is quite dark so we do we do tend to do less darker california colors than we do uh, brighter ones but again this is one that just you know fits in with everything else doesn't look quite as um uh, showy let's say uh, if that's the right word or not um, uh, for a California so if it's something you're using for everyday use as well uh, it's really nice looks lovely I think with the chrome bits on as well so you've got your, your chrome pack and things like that I think making a, uh, a big difference to those and again you know really do like it if you've got those uh, the twin colored uh, wheels so you know you see your polished silver and black wheels on as well uh, I think it makes a big difference to those as well and then on to the pearl effect uh, there's only one pearl effect on our list from on here and that's the deep black uh, deep black again you either like it or you don't like it um, I secretly down do, do quite like the black um, I like it because it, I think with the chrome pack and things like that on as well it just looks absolutely stunning um, you know it really does show off those uh, those bits as well plus because it's black as well it tends to you know it's a vehicle that is, is you can use every day uh, we don't do as many blacks as everything else it's not not one of the uh, more popular colors uh, but it's certainly uh, the ones that we get always sell straight away never have a problem selling uh, selling one in black I know it won't be for everybody but uh, it's that I quite I quite like it as well uh, that's there 
Uh, so that's a rundown of all your colours. As I said, we've been through the, um, uh, the two-tone colours as well uh, that's in there. I'd love to know if there's any colours that you think um, that's missing. Uh, I'll tell you there's a colour that I know for a fact that I would love to see uh, in the 6.1, and that's Ravana Blue. Uh, that's the, the blue that we do in the 6.1. Uh, panel vans and, and combis and things like that as well. Uh, not sure why we don't do it in the in the camper van. Uh, and the other one is pure grey, um, which again that's really really popular colour. Pure grey, uh, hugely popular colour. Uh, probably the most popular colour that we do um, on things like camper conversions and things like that uh, that we do from on here. But again, it's not on the uh, ocean. So uh, if I had a wish list, uh, if anybody from Volkswagen is listening to uh, uh, to the video today. <laughs> Okay, can we have Ravana Blue and Pure Grey, please, in uh, in a California? That would be uh, uh, that would be absolutely awesome. Uh, please let me know what you think. Um, let me know whether those are the colours. Is there any other colours that you've seen past or present uh, that you think would be really, really good? Uh, that's on the uh, on the California as well to uh, mix it up a bit and have uh, have something a bit different that's on there as well. Always love to hear from you. Like to know what uh, <coughs> what you think and what we can do is different. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, running through the colours on the uh, 6.1 Californias. Um, if you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe. It really, really does help the uh, help the channel out, getting those subscription numbers up. And uh, we'll see you again next time.